Hey guys, how's it going? Are you having a good week? A couple weeks ago, I was at Blix getting some art supplies for a friend and I came across this DIY eraser kit and I thought it would be really fun to give it a try. This is not something I normally would do and that's why I think it, it looks so fun, you know? Um, it's fun to try new things. So basically, it's a kit that you use to make your own erasers, and I think it's just like clay. I'm not really sure. It looks like it's kind of like sculpy clay. You just kind of sculpt your own erasers. So I'm gonna make my own. All right, real quick, let me just tell you how you do it. You make your shape, then you bake it in the oven for 30 minutes at a temperature between 210 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you're a Celsius person, 100 to 120. Then you have to let the eraser cool down for an entire hour after it's done, and then boom, you can do stuff. When I went to the store, I even told myself, like, I'm not buying anything for myself today, I'm just shopping for my friend. And right when I saw this, of course, it went right out the window, but huh, I can't get it open. Also, like, have any of you heard of this before? Has anybody done this? Can you tell me your experiences if you have? Because I've never even heard of this. Let's do this! Alrighty, here's the kit up close. I'm gonna open it up and have at it. I have to smell this. Okay, it smells kind of like Play-Doh. <laughs> Look how pretty all these colors are. Conveniently, I have a lot of clay tools because I used to do a lot of stuff with like Sculpey back in the day. Not too long ago, actually. <laughs> and I have this little cookie cutter thing. So I'm gonna cheat and do a flower with this just to see how it goes. I think one thing I wanna make is a leaf. So I'm gonna take, ooh, whoa, this is, Interesting. The consistency of this stuff isn't exactly like clay. I would say it breaks a lot easier. So mixing it feels slightly different. That's why it's taking a while. All right, I want to make a leaf. I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit and then I'll use this to cut it. All right, I'm gonna put little veins on this leaf now and uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll make them dark green. Take some blue and add it. Okay, let's get some leafy leafy going. Well, hey, we have a leaf. If you don't like it, leave me alone. Okay, let's do the next thing. Alrighty, this time I think we are going to make a flower. Use some pink, some white. Mix them together so they're not super bright. Okay, mixed it. I'm gonna roll it flat. Doop, 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 doop. Use this little flower. Oh, this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be real cute. Oh my. Guys, this is so adorable, seriously. Can this shape get any cuter? Honestly, look at this. Also, don't look at my nails cause they look grimy due to this clay. Alrighty, let's do a little dot in the middle. Fall in. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Adding white to any of this stuff doesn't do anything. <laughs> like with Sculpey, it um, lightens your color. This doesn't. I've used almost half the white now and it has not brightened anything. I'm just gonna add this to here. Oh, look how cute. Let's add some texture. Do a couple little dots. Yeah. Oh man, this is adorable. I'm gonna do a cloud next, okay? So I've got that. Gonna roll it flat. Like this. Now I'm going to take my 
little knife and cut out a cloud shape. Okay, I have the cloud shape I want and we're gonna add a little smiley to it. Yes, guys, a little smiley, how cute. First things first, we need some eyes. Oh man, super cute. Now I need to do some blush. Man, these are some cute erasers, guys. <laughs> What other fun shape should I make? Something with this purple? Yeah. For this purple dude, I think I'm just gonna make a like snake thing and then roll it up because I think that would look cool. Just a plain design. So let's do it. I could make this into a snail. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. I like it. Flatten it out a little bit. Yay! That's a fun one. Okay, the next one, I think I'm gonna do <laughs> a strawberry. <laughs> this is gonna be an obnoxious strawberry. <laughs> Here's this weird little strawberry thing. So here are all the cute little erasers we made. I tried to keep them simple because it's not practical to use super complex ones. Like, I'm probably not actually going to erase with this strawberry, but whatever. I'm going to go stick these cuties in the oven and pull them out when they're ready. Let them cool off and then I'll let you know if they work. Okay guys, here are the finished erasers. I ended up baking them and just letting them cool off overnight. So it's the next day now. They feel a lot harder and they look super cute. So let's see if they work. This one is definitely my favorite along with the leaf. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. So I'm gonna use the two pencils I use to sketch most often, and this is a red Pilot Color Eno pencil and just a regular mechanical pencil. Let's hope this works. I will draw a smiley face, just something super simple, and test it out. So I have this purple eraser. We're gonna see what happens. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this thing is awesome. It worked flawlessly, you can't even see it really anymore. This is amazing. Okay, let's try the red one. Hi. Wow, I wrote that really small, sorry. I just wrote it the normal size of my handwriting, I guess. Okay, I'm super impressed. That definitely worked. I don't know if I want to use the other ones because they're so cute. I don't want to ruin them. I'm not going to test this one because I want to keep it like that. <laughs> but yeah, they work super well. I guess I'll try the pink flower too. Um, let's see. Let's draw. Let's draw a flower and erase it with a flower. How about it? Just something quick, boom. Wow. Okay, these erasers work so good that I'm probably gonna use them, like, a lot. I'm very impressed. <laughs> so, that was definitely a win-win thing. I got to make cute things, and now I'm able to erase with it. The red doesn't erase like amazingly well. I can kind of see it. I don't know if you guys can, it's right here. Um, but hey, that's a very great job anyway. So I'm happy. 
Alrighty, let me know if you like this video, if you want to see more experimental things like this. This is like so fun to me. I love doing this kind of stuff and yeah. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon in another video. Bye.